can tell, Miss Green Sweater shop to hear that information. Okay, parents, watch this very scary story. Watch this. Allison Osteen was packing for a family move to another city while her two youngest sons, Griffin and Truman, napped. I went in the bathroom and started packing all of our medication and cleaning supplies, but then I just kind of folded it shut. I didn't tape it and seal it. Little did Allison know that mistake would be life-threatening. An hour later, when Allison woke up the boys, Griffin complained he felt sick. I thought, well, he's close to flu season. He's probably picked up the flu from school. Hours later, Allison asked her oldest boy, Devin, to get Griffin's pajamas from his room. There, Devin made a shocking discovery. I found a empty bottle of vitamins in his top drawer. Before that, we would only have one a day, and they wouldn't let us have any more, and they said that it would be bad for us if we ate more. So I took it down to my mom and showed it to her. I took the empty bottle, looked under the bed, and there's, you know, a few of the vitamins scattered around. I looked in his top drawer, and there were some vitamins in there. After confronting Griffin, Allison discovered he had consumed over 100 vitamins, thinking they were candy. So they rushed him to the hospital. The doctors determined that Griffin had toxic levels of iron coursing through his body. His only hope was chelation, a process of pumping chemicals into the body that form a protective coating around each grain of the ingested iron. Hopefully, this would make it impossible for Griffin to absorb the lethal dose of iron and pass it safely out with his urine. If it didn't work, Griffin could suffer brain damage or go into full cardiac arrest. Luckily, the procedure was successful, and Griffin was released from the hospital the next day. Even things that are considered good for children can be lethal in large doses. Allison Osteen and her son Griffin are here. Griffin, we're glad you're here. episode of ER that clued you in on how serious a vitamin overdose could be? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Two months before this happened, I had just witnessed, you know, I, I love that show, and it was, it, it, it just hit home right at that very second because she had gone in there with flu symptoms, this little girl, and the mother didn't know that she had taken any pills during the day. They sent her home. She came back, and they said, you know, what about any vitamin consumption? And that's what it was. She was in full cardiac arrest. And so when I flashed back at that, I just panicked, ran in, had a magnet on the refrigerator for poison control. Now there's a national number. You can access it anywhere. And it, it literally saved his life. They told us, you get him to the hospital right away. His, he's ingested it much too long. And uh, they had called ahead to the emergency room, and he was, he was safe. It was scary, though. Wow. When we come back, what should you do if you think your child has taken too many vitamins? That's what we're going to ask when we come back. What should you do? So, Dr. King, what should you do if you think your child has taken too many vitamins? Well, what Allison uh, just said is critical. Call poison control. It's a number that every parent should have. It's a national number, and they can help you figure out if your child needs to be seen at the hospital. Actually, don't even bother calling your doctor because most doctors, unless they're ER doctors, trauma doctors, don't know very much about iron poisoning. You've only got about four hours to do that chelation that Griffin had where we put medicine in to sort of bind that iron up. After that, these kids can die very quickly. Really? Yes. Oh, with vitamins. Absolutely. And they taste good. They're pretty and they're chewable and they're sweet. That's why you should never tell your kids that you're taking candy when you're right. not And also I read that one out of the five children are poisoned at their grandparents' house. That's right. It's amazing. But, you know, when you're older, you tend to take more medications. You have them sitting around the house and then your grandchild comes and visits. All of a sudden, one of those candies looks awfully good. Okay, and you should not induce vomiting with... Yeah, that's right. With iron poisoning, iron is absorbed very quickly into the stomach. And so using Ipecac really doesn't work. And quite honestly, most kids will vomit, as uh, Griffin did, you know, because it does tend to irritate the stomach. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. Television's What You Should Do for sharing your compelling stories and your 
life-saving advice. Thank you so much. Lifetime Television every Saturday at 11 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at 12 Eastern a.m. Thank you to those of you who shared your personal stories. Bravo to you. You make us feel a little braver. Having seen you do it makes us believe.